Hi, my name is Nur Shazwan Dimiti Zambri. I am holding metric card number D41903734. Next, I will explain about the history of instrument landing system and microwave landing system. One of the most difficult tasks a pilot has to perform is to achieve a smooth and safe landing. Early pilots landed on an open field facing any direction that gave them the best angle relative to the wind. But as traffic grew and more aircraft began to use airports rather than farms or fields, landings became limited to certain directions. Landing aids were developed to help pilot find the correct landing course and to make landing safer. The instrument landing system ILS incorporated the best features of both approach lighting and radio beacons with higher frequency transmission. The ILS painted an electronic feature of the glide slope onto a pilot's cockpit instrument. Tests of the system began in 1929 and the Civil Aeronautics Administration CAA authorized installation of the system in 1941 at six locations. The first landing of a scheduled US passenger airline using ILS was on January 26, 1938, as a Pennsylvania Central Airlines Boeing 247D flew from Washington DC to Pittsburgh and landed in a snowstorm using only the ILS system. More than one type of ILS system was tried. The system eventually adopted consisted of a course indicator called a localizer that showed whether the plane was to the left or right of the runway centerline, a glide path of landing beam to show if the plane was above or below the glide slope, and two marker beacons for showing the progress of approach to the landing field. Equipment in the airplane allowed the pilot to receive the information that was sent so he could keep the craft on a perfect flight path to visual contact with the runway. Approach lighting and other visibility equipment are part of the ILS and also aid the pilot in landing. Next, Microwave Landing System MLS were developed in the 1980. This system allow pilot to pick a path best suited to their type of aircraft and to descend and land from more direction than the ILS. Having different landing patterns can help reduce noise around airports and keep small aircraft away from the dangerous vertices behind large aircraft. MLS have been adopted in Europe as replacement for ILS. In the United States, however, the FAA halted for the development of MLS in 1994. Instead, the FAA is considering the use of technology based on the Global Positioning System GPS instead of or in addition to existing microwave system.